I'm TRU Sports Information Officer Larry Reed, and this is Meet the Wolfpack, where we uh, get a little more up close and personal with our uh, Wolfpack athletes. Uh, I'm pleased to be joined right now by uh, a new member of the Wolfpack baseball team, Duncan Elgard from Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, yeah. Calgary, Alberta. I, I was just going to say that. Uh, how does someone from Calgary make their way to Kamloops? Why, why did you choose TRU? Duncan? Well, um, I was looking a little bit at the UFC program and their baseball team, but right. they're in the same league as uh, TRU and all those schools. And I was really interested in uh, coming and playing and being a part of this league. So then I uh, went and looked at TRU as well, and they have a really good between school and baseball balance. So it kind of caught my eye and. Yeah. Not to put any pressure on you, but Coach Chadwick coming in to the season said Duncan is one of our, our key recruits. So do, do, how do you, A, how do you feel about that? And B, do you think that uh, puts a little bit more pressure on you to, uh, to perform, not only in the classroom, but uh, well, on the diamond? Uh, it does put some pressure there. I mean, it's really good knowing that uh, there's some faith in some of these rookies and that uh, you really have to compete with all these new guys coming in too, like improve your that you have the spot that you want and try to keep it. Like I hear there's 22 players, 22 new players. So with that, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Because uh, I'm thinking a good thing is everybody's on equal footing, but a bad thing is uh, you know, it's, you're going to have to struggle a little bit off the, off the bat here, I think. Well, the struggle would be just kind of like being able to show yourself because we're going to have to split playing time, but it's like going to push players more to try to... Uh, improve and be the one that stands out so right you're a multi-positional player but uh, coach is playing you at catcher mm -hmm. how do you feel about that i enjoy it i've always thought my best position is catching and you know like splitting it is you have to worry about other position stuff but coming here i've just been focusing on catching and my hitting so do you think you're in a, a good position in a way because uh, you have two veterans, John Young and uh, Evan Douglas, that uh, can kind of mentor you a little bit this season and kind of you know tell you about the, the ins and outs of things as you get acclimatized to, to life in university and uh, as a university baseball player? Yeah, it's really good. You just get to uh, watch them kind of play even and just learn by just watching and hearing what they have to say and just kind of they have the vibe that they know what everything's going on and they can help anything. Got to ask you as a catcher, how are your knees? It's got to be pretty sore, especially if you catch like a, you know, a seven or a nine inning game. Well, we had some long practices coming in here right at the beginning, and that was a little tough adjusting. Right. The, like catching for almost six hours. I, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, have you played in Kamloops before? Is this your, or, you know, uh, as Norbrock Stadium, and we're doing this interview in September, is this the first time you've really played there? Well, I've played in Norbrook Stadium for tournaments um, in the spring a bit mm -hmm. with my travel winter teams. They come down and play. Um, right. Yeah, so it's not the first time I've played, but... Your, your club coach told me that um, you and your traveling coach that you're very dedicated, not only off, on the field but but off the field. Uh, you know, work training that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, what is it? What prompted you to do that? And, and why baseball is as your key sport? Well, I don't know. I was never really interested in like any of the other sports. But baseball really caught my eye. It's very strategic, and you have to be athletic to play it. And uh, I don't know. I just want to be as good as I can. Mm -hmm. So training off the field is very important to me as well. Do you have, uh, and uh, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm looking at Russell Martin maybe. Is he, is he your role model? or do, who's, who's, who's the catcher as far as Duncan Elgert is concerned? Well, uh, R Russell Martin is like repping in Toronto, so it's really nice to kind of watch him play on TV and I kind of look up to him, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else that, uh, uh, any major league catcher that, do you, do you try to emulate, uh, you know, either Russell or somebody else? Yeah, Russell would be the number one kind of. Right. What are you taking here, and uh, what, what are your future goals? I'm taking a Bachelor of Arts right now, but future goals, I'm not really, it's not really, I have lots of time. Um, I'm really interested in psychology as well, so maybe oh, we'll see where that goes. Awesome. The, the baseball program here prides itself on being a family unit. Uh, you guys are always you know, cheering on the other teams. You're always out, in the, out mm -hmm. in the community doing things. Was that a factor when you decided to come here? Um, not when I came here, but when you, I arrived here, you can really tell that it's a family when you get here. Everybody's very um, friendly with each other. Everyone's like, it's just very accepting of everything. And Nice. Now, we're doing this interview a couple weeks into school. Uh, how are you finding it thus far? And uh, as a first-year student, uh, uh, you know, what, what were the, the benefits and the challenges of, of uh, being a first-year student at TRU thus far? 
Um, as a first year student, it's going to be time management. It's going to be the challenge, getting used to having practices almost every day and then as well as school mm -hmm. and finding time for everything. It's been mostly a challenge finding time to make food and eat. <laughs> I can imagine. But uh, yeah, it's the, but the Ray is very like co accommodating with school and mm -hmm. everything, so that's been good. Almost a cat? Uh, maybe a little bit, but. Right. But is it a challenge, too, that, uh, you know, uh, you, you finished your, your high school uh, scholastic career and, you know, you're now, you know, moving into adulthood because you're living out on your own? It's been a bit of a jump. Like, it's different because you're away from your family now and everything, mm -hmm. living here on res and uh, just being more responsible for yourself. Right. So. What's it like living in residence? And, uh, you know, what words of advice do you have for someone that might consider that? It's very good because it's in within walking distance from all your classes and everything. Mm -hmm. um, you have to well, learn to make food and stuff and sustain yourself, but uh, it's a very good experience here on Res. The new Res is super nice too. Awesome! It's like a hotel. I understand. Yeah, it that, is. Awesome. How about studying? Is it is it difficult to study in, when you're in residence? Uh, no, because everyone gets basically their own room, bedroom, and a desk. So you can, if you want quiet time, you can go off and just go study. Awesome. What goals have you set for yourself, Duncan, for your first year as a student athlete here at Thompson Rivers? To, uh, I'd like to get by all my courses, of course, and uh, strive in school and baseball. Right. All right. Duncan Alger joins us, first year catcher with the Wolfpack baseball team.